Yo, what's going on guys? This is Austin Fafe or Luna. How you guys doing today? Um, before I get into this commentary, I'd just like to say thank you, thank you for all the new subs. Um, I'm sure as a lot of you may know, I just did a dual com with X Cody, And um, yeah, that really helped me out. It really helped me grow a lot. And it's uh, I really appreciate him doing that. So if you're watching, thanks a lot, bro. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that dual com, by the way. The quality was kind of fucked up because we were trying to find Skype recorders. And he actually ended up almost downloading a virus. And um... But anyway, I have a story today. A good one, in fact, is about the time I was pulled over with weed. Now, it was not only weed. There was a, prescri there was a prescription drug in the car also that uh, you could have gotten a lot of trouble with if you're caught with. I'm not going to name names, but it's bad. No pills. No pills. So, to start this off, guys, I have these two friends. One is 18. One is 22. And um, I was in the car with them, and we were burn riding. If you don't know what burn riding is, it's basically, you know, you smoke the weed, you drive, and you just kind of cruise around while smoking. I don't suggest going burn riding. It's not the safest thing, especially because the driver is impaired while he's driving. And um, even he said that one time. But anyway, anyway, we were driving, and we went. We used to do this thing every night at about 2 in the morning. We would go to the uh, parking lot of this mini mart. And we would sit in the parking lot and just burn in the parking lot. We'd just smoke and smoke in this parking lot and then go home because the parking, because the mini mart was right next to my house. And um, let's get, keep this in mind, guys. This kid had a truck that was just the biggest cop magnet. Biggest. It was rusted. It had no muffler on it. So it was like, every time he would drive. Um, there was blue flames on it. And it was just quite the fucking cop magnet. So we were smoking at this mini mart and... Um, we were just chilling, you know, we were lighting up to bowls, and, um, I actually just got this new bowl, okay, it was a dinosaur, it was so fucking badass, it was $80, um, a bunch of my friends chipped in and bought it for me, it was one of the best gifts I've got all year, and, um, I was so excited, we were using this new bowl, it was working great, and it was one of the first times I really smoked, so I was actually really starting to feel it, and I told, um, I told the 22-year-old who was driving, I'll, I'll call him, let's just call him Eric. So I told Eric that, I'm like, dude, I'm getting really fucking stoned. We should probably just chill for a while. He's like, come on, let's do one more. Only if we could have just stopped there, guys. So we're doing this bowl. We, we packed it. I actually packed it. Um, we were smoking, and he, uh, he, every time he would light it and like start to like inhale on the bowl, he would close his eyes. Now, we also had a girl with us. She's like 17, 18, I think. And, um, let's just call her, uh, Miranda, okay? So, Miranda was sitting there, and she's like, I just saw a really bright light hit the truck. I was like, and then the kid, Eric, or the 22-year-old driving, was just like, yeah, I don't think anything of it. I'm like, I, and me, on the other hand, guys, I have anxiety. I get scared over the dumbest shit, especially when I'm smoking. So, I was like, no, I'm sketched out. What is it? What is it? And she's like, just don't worry about it. It's fine. So... I'm sitting there in my head. I'm like, oh, it's nothing. No big deal. So he's hitting the bowl with his eyes closed. And I think I'm looking down at my phone. And all of a sudden I hear, fuck, that's a cop. And I'm like, what? What? My heart just fucking dropped. I thought I was going to die. I'm like, no, I'm done. We're, I'm just going to kill myself. So he goes, guys, I probably should have emptied this out of the car before I left. But I have pills with me. And we're like, what? You have fucking pills? I literally wanted to jump over the seat, guys, and start beating the fuck out of this kid. Because, you know... You should never be driving with a prescription drug in your car, especially when there's when it's late at night, you have no muffler, and your truck is literally just the biggest cop magnet in town. So, I was like, are you fucking stupid, dude? We're going to get caught. Uh, you guys are going to get arrested because I'm a minor. And uh, I was only 14 at the time, guys. So, really, fucking, I should have not been hanging out with them. Because, like, my age, 14, hanging out with 20-year-olds, 18-year-olds, not a good idea. So, um, before I get to this part, I'd like to say... Never, never travel with someone that much older than you, especially if they're into prescription drugs. So, um, all right, I'm off topic, but, uh, so we're sitting there and we saw this cop kind of go around the mini mart to the back. So we couldn't see him anymore. He was going around the back way and we're like, all right, he's gone. He, he didn't see us. Comes back around. This time he's got a spotlight. And if you've never seen a cop spotlight, he holds it out the window and it's literally used for like stage performances sometimes. So he shines it into the truck, immediately sees all of us sitting there with our eyes probably just like our eyes were so fucking red. I looked at him and I was like, nah, and I looked the other way and I'm like, all right, wait, we're fucked. We're fucked. You know what? Fuck this. I put my head down on my lap. So he pulls up next to me. You hear woo, like the siren go on. It was a horrible siren impression, but he gets out of his car. He comes over. 
and he's he, you know he tapped on the window with his uh light his flashlight and he like shines it right in Eric's face when like the window goes down. He's like, so uh, smells weird in here, guys. We're like, uh, officer, I have no idea what you're talking about. That's what he said. And I was just sitting there like fucking dying on the inside because I knew I was fucked. My mom was gonna kill me. So I'm sitting there and then like he flashed it over to me and I looked at him and he goes, oh, so you've all been smoking the reefer? And I'm like, what's what's reefer, officer? <laughs> I was like, what's reefer? What's reefer? And he's like, don't play stupid with me. I know what's going on here. I know what a stoner is when I see one. I'm like, officer, I'm sorry. So he goes, why don't you all step out of the car? And I was like, fuck. And like the Eric's like, officer, is that necessary? He's like, step out of the car now. So we all got out and he sits us down on the curb. Now, if any of you ever watch cops, that is what they do when they're about to arrest you is they sit you down on the curb and then they tell you to stand up one by one as he handcuffs you. So he actually did handcuff my friend. He steads him up. He's like, you know what? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. He's like, officer, please. He's like, put your hands behind your back. So he cooperated because, you know, I wouldn't want to dis- I didn't want to be uncooperative either. So he goes, you two, you stand up. So I stood up and I was like, are you kidding me? Handcuffs me. I was like, great. Fuck. I'm going to juvie. Let's do it. So he sits me down and he goes, now you guys are not under arrest. And I'm like, oh, thank God. And he's like, but I'm here to talk to you. You guys should not be driving at three in the morning with no muffler. It's already it's already illegal to the fact that you're. He said that his car was literally over the legal limit. Like it was so loud. His like huge truck was like so loud that um I think he's been pulled over eight times now because of it. And um he's like you know you got to get a new muffler first of all. I'm pretty sure your brake lights out and you're smoking with a minor. And he's like. I'm sorry, officer. And then he goes, you mind if I search the vehicle? He's like, I'd prefer if you didn't. He's like, do you have any weed on you? He goes, he's like, yeah, I have weed on me. So he throws in the weed and then he goes, can I search you? And he points at me. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. So I stood up, I grabbed my bowl out of my pocket and I told him, I'm like, this is my bowl. You can have it, you know, (laughs) just take it. And uh, I was really shaky, guys. Like I was starting to freak out. My hands were like sweating and my hands were shaking. So he goes, all right, I appreciate the cooperativeness or whatever. And he took it and he searched the car and he got right to where the pills were. Now the pills were in this like tape case with, uh, they were like a case of tapes, like old cassette tapes, music play because his truck was old and it could only play cassettes. So it was in the case of a cassette tape. And that was actually a really smart move to put them there. The officer pulled out the cassette tapes, but obviously probably didn't want to go through every single one. He just set it down on the side look through the rest of the truck, nothing was found, and he got out and he goes, look, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm taking your drugs though, sadly I can't let you go home with those. So um, he took our weed and he took my bull, really sad because that bull was like 100 bucks, 80 bucks, and it was a nice ass bull. But we did get off with no punishment, my parents never found out, and everyone was good, and it would have sucked if I did get caught. So guys, this has been Austin FFA or Luna. I'm really appreciative to have all the new fans to be here enjoying my stories and stuff. And, um, yeah, so tell me some of your crazy stories in the comments below. Peace.